Liam Zambi. And I'm Siamota. And this is This, this Week, Week in Ragnarok. Ragnarok. This is a weekly news show where we talk about what's going on in the world of R01 and 2. If you missed this stream, you can watch the archive at twitch.tv slash warportal or on YouTube. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. For ending this week as well as continuing events, last week we made Violin Dungeon open to everybody. Uh, you don't have to be a VIP just to get down to that dungeon anymore. We also put in a 1.5x EXP event on both servers. You'll be getting more EXP when you're killing monsters and that'll be lasting until next week. In addition, the Adventures Guild is now offering repeatable EXP monster hunts. This is tied into the Spotlight event. You can find that NPC in Alberta. Okay, and what we have coming up this week from 414 to 418, you guys have asked for it, and we are delivering the Easter Story Quest for 2014. Written by one of our players, we sent it to Caro, and they have delivered. We're in the midst of testing this new quest. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, it'll have a special reward on Renewal that I think you guys will enjoy, and we're bringing it in on Classic 2, uh, so you guys aren't left out on pre-renewal. We have a new Lucky Box coming in. We'll have contents of that posted up pretty soon on the website. I think you guys will like it. As well as the 1.5x XP continuing for one more week. Uh, so that is our Easter event, and I think uh, there will be a lot for you guys to do. And now for the segment where I put a spotlight on some of the cool stuff coming out of our community. For our Facebook question of the week, I asked, besides Facebook and our War Portal forums, where do you hang out online? Matea says, Tumblr for sadness. Gabe says, I miss MySpace. It actually taught people how to program on a very basic level. And Joshua says, MopedArmy.com, Craigslist, Guild Forms, LOL. Uh, pretty clear that people go to a lot of different places, not just Facebook, to talk about RO and to hang out. For our thread of the week, Zero Tigers posted up a RO theme rewrite of Miley Cyrus's uh, Wrecking Ball. I think you guys may have heard of that. And several users have taken the opportunity to record themselves singing it. And as I understand, Zero Tigers herself will be singing that sometime this week, so keep an eye out. For our pick of the week, Dust in the Wind has some awesome art of a geneticist and her homunculus pet. And uh, that's a really beautiful art. You guys should make sure to check it out. If you guys have fun stuff from the community that you would like to get a shout out, let me know by sending a PM to Oda on the forums. Okay, and that's the news for this week. Please make sure to join us for our Tiki Tuesday live stream, which should be happening not too long from now. It always happens at 3 o'clock on Tuesdays. Uh, this week will be on Classic for the broadcast. You can follow me on Tumblr at the Oda's Outpost blog as well as Twitter for some off-topic fun. And uh, up next is CM Zambi with R02 News right after a word from our sponsor.
And here are the continuing events for Ragnarok 2. The Creative Pecos competition is going on right now. Create interesting and creative concept art for a Peco, and you might be the winner of some fantastic prizes. The Call to Arms Lyrics VEP event will be ending this Tuesday, April 15th, so be sure to send in your lyrics and songs. Also, don't forget, we host weekly events which include Item Riddle Fridays, Trivia Triathlon Tuesdays, Ragnamix Saturdays, and Weekend Challenges. For more information on all these events, be sure to check out our forums. The Spring Festival has been implemented into the game last week, so I'm sure many of you are busy collecting bunnies right now. Remember, this event ends on May 7th. We posted preview patch notes for the April 23rd's class balance update. We would love to hear your feedback on these notes, so be sure to read them in our forums and post your opinions, concerns, and questions. We also have a new Google Plus page. If you use Google Plus, be sure to add us to your circles. If you have any ideas of what kind of events we should do on Google Plus, be sure to let us know. I, for one, am not against hosting karaoke nights on Google Hangouts. Our Creative Pecos competition started last week, and here for your viewing pleasure are some of the entries that we got. The first one is from Okuhara called Bad Feather Day Peco. Apparently, this Peco was born with messy feather problems. Poor thing. We hope he gets the bad feathers under control one day. The second one is from Dopiel called Portly Peco. Oh boy, what has this Peco been eating all his life to get to this size? What do you think? Share your answers with us in the comment section below. And that's it for this week in Ragnarok. Thanks for watching. Thank you.